I am Santosh Gadankar. Today I am explaining the strength of material or mechanics of material. In that one, the Mohr circle diagram. This is the problem I am going to solve, which contain a oblique plane. Now, the few assumption while solving the problem. This one I will refer as positive sign tension. If the stresses are acting towards the center I will refer as a compressive strength and that means negative now if the shear is rotating in clockwise I will consider as a positive if the shear is rotating in anti-clockwise I will consider negative here I will refer as vertical plane and horizontal plane this one is vertical plane and this is a horizontal plane now the problem is associated with the vertical plane the vertical plane making an angle 45 degree to the oblique plane let us solve the problem graphically i will consider the arrow this direction as sigma x and tau tau now sigma x is in tension therefore i will write as positive 65 and shear stress this is the shear acting which direction it is acting in clockwise if you want to go for it hold the arrow at the center and place over the tip the arrow indicate the direction the arrow indicate direction which is nothing but clockwise direction which is positive which is positive positive now next i will go here here i will consider as sigma y upward i will consider as sigma y and tau now see here it is in tension therefore i will write as 35 now here this line is rotating in which direction anti-clockwise direction therefore i will consider as minus 25 i am considering this plane and this plane because this plane making an angle 45 degree in clockwise direction clockwise direction now let us consider a scale scale 1 is to 1 or 1 centimeter is equal to 10 mm 10 mm now here both are positive side this line referred as a shear and this one referred as the normal stress normal stress now this one i will consider as a o point now sigma x is positive 65 from the o i will move 65 positive direction 65 65 this is nothing but sigma x now tau is 25 positive upward here in this way this one is positive positive negative negative here it is positive 25 upward 25 upward Twenty five upward. I will consider this tau. Next, I will go for sigma y. It is also positive. Positive means this direction. Twenty five, thirty five. Sorry, sigma y is thirty five. From O, I will draw a line of thirty five or mark over the line thirty five. Thirty five. Now it is minus. Therefore, you have to draw bottom. Twenty five bottom. Here this line indicate what zero line 25 this is tau now connect both the tau and wherever sigma line cuts i will refer as a referred as a this is nothing but sigma y sigma y wow. now a as center here as center draw the more circle draw the more circle
draw the more circle now from o to this point we call as a sigma max we call as a sigma max which is nothing but maximum principal stress or major principal stress here we referred as a sigma mean minor principal stress now this is the major this is the minor now from the o point from the o point draw a vertical line till it touches to the circle this point we called as a sigma max maximum shear stress and here sigma mean minimum shear stress let us calculate the maximum and minimum from o to to the maximum sigma max we have to measure it here it is 80 from o to this point it is 80 80 newton per mm square from o to over this point it is 21 21 21 newton per mm square now we are going to find out sigma max sigma max from a point which is 30 which is 30 30 newton per mm square and minus 30 newton per mm square mm square now now next next this vertical plane plays an important role which makes an angle 45 degree this is the oblique making the angle 45 degree now here this vertical plane refers to sigma max sigma x and tau sigma x and tau here this is the plane this is the plane these are the values sigma x and tau this is the plane. if it is located to the vertical plane sorry horizontal plane we have to consider sigma x sigma y and tau now it is located near what vertical plane making angle 45 sigma x and tau this is the plane making angle 45 in the more circle you have to consider twice that means from o and tau make an angle 45 now see here the 45 is rotating in clockwise direction see here from the vertical plane it is made rotating clockwise direction therefore you have to move clockwise direction twice that means 90 degree you have to draw it this is the 90 degree 90 degree from O point up to the circle draw a line here this angle is nothing but 2 theta 45 because this plane is rotating in clockwise direction clockwise direction after getting this point we consider as a B point from the B draw a vertical line till it touches Sigma here this point we referred as a sigma n which is nothing but normal stress normal stress normal stress now and this line we referred as a tau theta or sigma t or tau n we call as a tangential stress this is normal stress this is a tangential stress and from O to B O to B a dotted line which is nothing but resultant which is nothing but Sigma R and this angle we call as angle of obliquity angle of obliquity let us measure from O to Sigma N from O to Sigma N the value is around 
75. From O to sigma m, the value is 75. 75 Newton per mm square. Now tau value over this line to B value. It is 15. It is 15 Newton per mm square. 15 Newton per mm square. Now let us find out the sigma r value. Sigma r value is 75, 76, 78. Sigma r value is 78. 77 or 78. 78 Newton per mm square. 78. This is a sigma r value. That means which is nothing but resultant. The phi indicate what? Angle of obliquity. Now let us find the angle of obliquity. Place here the angle of obliquity. Angle of obliquity is around 11. Here it is 11. Angle of obliquity is 11 degree. 11 degree. I will write separately here. Sigma n 75 Newton per mm square and tau theta tau n or sigma t tangential stress 15 Newton per mm square and sigma r resultant 78 Newton per mm square or 77 Newton mm square an angle of obliquity phi will be 11 degree phi will be 11 degree now up to here we have completed we have found sigma n sigma t resultant and angle of obliquity now next we have to find out the location of principal plane and shear stress now we are going to find out the location location of principal stress plane principal stress plane now principal stress plane refer to what only the sigma value from sigma values that means this theta and a theta and a makes angle 45 as per this plane now we have to find out the location of principal stress plane how to find out the principal stress plane this is the angle from this angle line to over this line we called as 2 theta 1 we call it as a 2 theta 1 now I will write 2 theta 1 and rotating in clockwise direction what is the reason for rotating clockwise direction because it is also rotating in clockwise direction if it is rotating anti-clockwise then I will go for anti-clockwise rotation now here it is rotating in clockwise direction therefore clockwise this line up to sigma line now we have to find out the angle now how to find out the angle from tau to a it is around 58 it is around 58 now this is 58 degree I will write here 58 degree 58 now see the next part see the next part from this line over this up to sigma next that means 2 theta 2 2 theta 1 plus 180 180 which is 58 plus 180 which is nothing but 238 238 let us find out the theta 1 value theta 1 
theta 1 is equal to 58 divided by 2 nothing but 29 for here theta 2 238 divided by 2 which is nothing but 119 degree this is the location of principal 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 stress plane now let us go for the location of principal not not sorry we will we will go for location of shear stress plane now here i am going for clockwise direction it is a clockwise direction location of location of location of shear stress plane location of shear stress plane now now see here from this line over this line because this line indicates shear and this line indicate stress principal stress now shear stress line here which indicate what theta 3 theta 3 now 2 theta 3 is nothing but what 2 theta 1 2 theta 1 plus 90 degree in previous case it was 2 theta 1 plus 180 here 2 theta 1 plus 90 degree that means 58 plus 90 148 148 theta 3 148 divided by 2 74 degree 74 degree 74 degree now location of shear stress plane fourth theta now see here from here over this line these are the shear stress plane that means 2 theta 4 is nothing but 2 theta 1 2 theta 1 2 theta 1 plus 270 270 what is 2 theta 1 2 theta 1 is 58 plus 270 if you calculate the answer is 328 328 theta 4 328 divided by 2 is nothing but 164 degree 164 degree now when the plane is rotating in clockwise direction suppose if it is rotating in anti-clockwise direction then what happens I will consider the anti-clockwise direction also here CCW anti-clockwise direction now location of location of principal plane principal stress plane then what happened let us see let us see the same diagram here theta 1 2 theta 1 I will consider as minus 58 degree because this line going to touch to the Sigma value if I consider rotation in anti-clockwise direction therefore it is minus 58 minus 58 next 2 theta 2 what happens 2 theta 1 plus 180 you have to do it 180 that means this line has to touch over this line which is referred to what 2 theta 2 therefore minus 58 plus 180 if you calculate it will be 122 and theta 2 122 divided by 2 nothing but 61 if we divide here minus 58 divided by 2 minus 29 degree minus 29 degree here it is 61 now let's go for location of location of shear stress plane
location of shear stress plane now see here what happens 2 theta 3 we have to find out now how to find out 2 theta 3 that means this line over this line because this is the stress line minus 2 theta 1 plus 90 degree because this is 90 degree 90 degree we call as a 2 theta 3 it is minus 58 plus 90 32 theta 3 32 divided by 2 is nothing but 16 degree and let us go for 2 theta 4 now 2 theta 4 this line see here, this line over this line is attached to the that means 2 theta 1 minus 2 theta 1 because it is a minus then plus 270 minus 58 plus 270 221 degree theta 4 221 divided by 2 106 106 now let us compare clockwise and anti-clockwise then what happens now see here 29 minus 29 it becomes 0 it holds good now here 119 61 it becomes 180 that means it holds good next shear stress plane or location of maximum minimum shear stress plane here now see here 148 plus 16 sorry 74 plus 16 it becomes what 90 degree 164 plus 106 is become 270 again I will explain here 29 minus 29 it becomes 0 119 plus 61 it becomes 180 148 theta 3 sorry 74 plus 60 it becomes 90 164 plus 106 it becomes 270 in this way you have to solve the problem when it is rotating in clockwise direction if it is anti-clockwise direction these are the the result now finally I am going to find out sigma max value sorry sigma average sigma average the formula will be sigma max plus sigma min divided by 2 or based upon this also you have to you can find out that means sigma x plus sigma y divided by 2 what is sigma x both are positive 65 plus 35 divided by 2 which is nothing but 50 Newton per mm square you can find out the average the other formula will be sigma max plus sigma min divided by 2 you will get the same result in this way you have to solve the problem I am Santosh Gaidankar thank you very much